I'm Fiona Forbes for Investment Pitch Media. Engineer Goldmines announced results from its underground sampling program at the Engineer Goldmine property in northern BC, highlighted by two high-grade gold samples of 547 grams per tonne and 9.67 grams per tonne. The company is focused on the exploration and development of its 100% owned 14,000 hectare Engineer Gold Mine property, which is centered around the historic high-grade Engineer Gold Mine, located 32 kilometers southwest of the town of Atlin in northwestern BC. The historic Engineer Gold Mine produced 18,000 ounces of high-grade gold at 39 grams per tonne between 1912 and 1927 and also, according to the company's 2018 43101 technical report, has an inferred resource that includes 20,100 ounces of gold at 60 grams per tonne or 1 and 3 quarter ounces per tonne in the Engineer vein. Engineer successfully dewatered the entire Engineer gold mine in October of this year and initiated an underground geological mapping and panel sampling program on the lowermost 8 level, which consists of a 1,067 meter network of historic drifts, stopes, and crosscuts. A total of six muck samples and 24 composite chip samples were collected during a four-day sampling program. Unfortunately, due to a catastrophic pump failure, the sampling crews only had 11 days to establish provisional air and water services and conduct a preliminary muck and composite chip sampling program on segments of the double-decker, engineer and shear A zone on level 8. The company's work crews were able to access the historic production stope at the south end of the double-decker vein. Five samples were collected from the muck piles remaining on the stope floor and a sixth sample was collected from inside one of the draw chutes. All six samples were mineralized with two of the samples returning high-grade gold assays of 547 grams per ton and 9.67 grams per ton. The samples were reported to be also enriched in silver and arsenic, which is typically associated with gold mineralization at the Engineer Gold Mine. Nine composite ship samples were collected along a 35-meter strike length of the Engineer vein on 8 level. All nine samples were mineralized but returned low-grade gold values ranging from 11 to 705 parts per billion. Samples were also reported to be elevated in silver and arsenic. Previous work on the five-level Bonanza zone has shown that small chip samples typically underestimate the actual gold grade of the vein due to its high nugget nature. Historic drifting of the Shear A zone is measured to be approximately 255 meters. A total of 15 composite chip samples were collected along a 100-meter length of the drift. All 15 samples exhibited low-grade gold mineralization ranging from 18 parts per billion to 1.13 grams per ton. Sampling results are considered preliminary in nature and a more concerted program including washing drift walls, geological mapping and detailed sampling along all mineralized vein drifts in the entirety is warranted and proposed for spring 2020. The company has approximately 36 million shares outstanding with the shares trading at 7 cents on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol EAU. For more information, please visit the company's website, engineergoldmines.com. Contact Brian Fowler, President at 604-682-2928 or email bfowler at engineergoldmines.com or Nelson De Silva, Manager Corporate Development at 604-722-0041 or by email at nelson at engineergoldmines.com. I'm Fiona Forbes for Investment Pitch Media.